Let's take a look at an example community plan update in Hollywood, California, using ArcGIS Pro. In ArcGIS Pro, I can log in with my ArcGIS Online credentials to access content made available to me in the cloud. Similar to how I would browse for files using my computer's file browser, I can search for files directly on my cloud. In this case, I'll search for a layer of 3D buildings that I published earlier and go ahead and add this to my map. Let's zoom into Hollywood now. As you can see, the base map streams in dynamically without taking up gigabytes of space here on my desktop computer. Here in Hollywood, you can see blue and yellow parcels that have been identified as soft sites. These are parcels that are empty and would likely develop, or parcels that might already be developed but have a zone that would make it advantageous for redevelopment. Using a city engine rule, we've generated the current zoning parameters for these soft sites. Let's take a look at the set of tools behind this zoning example. By creating tasks seen here on the left panel, we can create simple workflow-oriented tools in planning language, easy enough for non-GIS experts. The first task here lets us create a new scenario. Scenarios allow us to organize our potential designs and compare them side by side. For this community plan, we're looking at a zoning scenario to establish full build-out constraints. This task can quickly assign new zones to parcels in order to explore these constraints spatially. When I launch the Assign Zones task, the first step is to select the parcel you wish to change. The task will then automatically scan for all possible zoning types within the city's zoning code. These zoning types are defined as a set of input parameters, here seen in the master zoning code worksheet. These columns represent the zone name, floor area ratio, max height. The number of inputs possible is not limited to these, but for this example, we kept it simple. For this parcel, let's choose a commercial zone with a much higher height limit, 400 feet. When this is applied, the 3D zoning will read the new zoning parameters and regenerate automatically. There are two types of layers to this 3D zoning representation. The total build-out volume is represented by the black wireframe, taking into account maximum height limits and setbacks. The second layer is inside this, the floor area ratio massing, shown here with a light blue office land use color. Reports can be generated from these 3D models and calculated against assumptions such as dwelling unit size or office and retail jobs by land use using a gross square foot multiplier. These assumptions and reports can power scenario-based dashboards to support downstream key performance indicator modeling. This dashboard example is in Excel, which is already a powerful tool used in the planning profession. Next, let's take a look at two methods of exporting our 3D scenario for review and presentation purposes. The first method utilizes ArcGIS Pro's animation tools to export a video format. With the animation toolbar, you can quickly add your own existing bookmarks to create a fly-through. These bookmarks will then appear in the animation timeline below. Adjustments can be made to the time it takes to animate from one bookmark to the next. And finally, a preview of the animation can provide a good idea of what we can expect from our video. Here, we cycle through three bookmarks, taking us from the county scale down to the parcel on which we propose the zoning change. ArcGIS Pro can export the resulting video to popular formats such as MP4 or AVI. You can then upload your video to popular channels such as YouTube or Vimeo. The next way to share your 3D scenario is by publishing a web scene to ArcGIS Online. Web scenes can contain all of the 2D and 3D layers in your project. With ArcGIS Online web scenes, you can share your 3D plans using any standard web browser, utilize Esri base maps like aerial imagery and topographic base maps, and even apply environmental effects to adjust the overall sun and shade on your map. With a quick web link, you can share this web scene out for anyone to see.